Since the last episode, a lot of this has happened. And because nobody wants to watch a video about cleaning cars, I didn't include it. But anyway, it came up quite nicely. So what's happening today? Well, I'm going to make this car run for the very last time using this engine. And I'm going to celebrate that by removing the body of the car. And I'll also be rendering my hoist completely inoperable until I find a way to move a body around my workshop. So as usual, to the hoist. Now for those of you who have hoists and midget chode cars, you'll understand the pain of this shuffle. Now funnily enough, the underneath of this car is just like the rest of it. It's in surprisingly good shape. Aside from the 30 years of horrible road muck on it, there's no rust. All of this stuff that looks like rust is just caked on mud crap. And the only problems this car has is a leak there, which is probably just the filler plug there, so that's nothing to worry about. And there's a bit of an oil leak from the engine, which kind of starts at the front and works its way down. But that's not really gonna be a problem for this project, is it? Now funnily enough, I've never removed a body from a car before. I have however installed a body lift kit on my Navara, but that's a different story. So this isn't going to be a how-to guide, this is basically going to be me struggling to remove a body for the first time. But I'm assuming the process is pretty much the same. You've got body mounts in that pile of darkness. There's a better one with better light. There's a more lit one. I think there's a few of those, around six or eight. Remove those. Remove all the other things like fuel lines and coolant things from the engine. And aside from that, because this is a carby, it'll just lift right off. In theory. The other thing I've seen people do from my extensive research is when they lift the body off, they lift it off this little pinch weld bit here. Not pinch weld, but you know what I mean. This car, however, has these nice little bracing sections on the bottom of these side steps, which are braced on this, as well as on the body further up there. So from my best guess, this is gonna be the strongest place to lift it from. So what I'll probably do is get some wood to take up this gap once I've retracted these arms, because they won't retract that far, and hopefully I'll be able to lift the body off those points there. Anyway, that's a problem for future me. In the meantime, disconnect various things. I'm well aware this is not the fastest way to drain coolant, but I have a lot of time and I also value having a clean floor. So 
although it's been about a while now, I've disconnected all the electrics from the back panels. I've done all the body mounts, I hope. That's a handbrake cable. And I think all that's left to do, the aircon's got no gas anyway, so I'm just gonna take off the hoses. I'm gonna have to do something with the power steering pump, which is that greasy boy. And apart from that, disconnect the master cylinder. Um, and I think that might be almost it. Now that is potentially everything disconnected which means it's definitely not everything disconnected, but I'm gonna find out which things are still connected when I try to lift the car off the body and find that I can't lift the car off the body. So let's give that a go. Now that's all for today. Who knew these things were not quite as balanced as I thought they were? Did you know, Super Cheap Auto has an excellent returns policy, which is great for tools you're only ever going to use once. Just saying. And with any luck, that's everything I need to get the engine out of this thing. All I've got to do is disconnect that drive shaft, engine mounts, gearbox mounts, and a couple of other little things like, no, the clutch might come off on its own. Yeah, it should just lift out. A few more bolts to go. So if you're into patrols, as some of you are, you'll know they love to rust out underneath this bit. So there's a cover over there. When you take it off, you're usually seeing doom and gloom because this little drain hole's got plugged and everything's rusted out from the inside. But I literally pressure washed it for about 10 seconds and it's perfect. And that's about it. That's the last we're gonna see of this toxic heathen of an engine. So let's do a recap. We've taken the body off. We've taken the engine out of the body. And now the engine is sat over there, sulking like a little child. Next on the list, not you, is taking the engine out of this one. So that's happening next. One other thing, if you're using one of these, make sure you will use approved safety shoes, just like me. Because these wheels hurt. Ask me how I know. Also, when you're moving an engine around, 
Don't worry, if you've lost any cable ties, you'll find them as soon as you start trying to move it. Ask me how I know. Now that's all for today. You all knew this shot was coming, so you should probably press the subscribe button. Goodbye.